गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस वीडियो फॉर द क्लास सिक्स कंप्यूटर वीडियो अच्छा चैप्टर थ्री फॉर फोटोशॉप गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड टू डेज बाई सेकेंड वीडियो वॉल ऑफ यू एंड सेम चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर थर्ड Photoshop and this is the remain part of the Photoshop. Previous video I told you uh, introduction of the Photoshop and what the features of the Photoshop. So what is utilization of the Photoshop to all of you. So right now we will start starting Photoshop. So how to start in Photoshop? So you can see on the uh, figure on the page number twenty six and the twenty seven. And figure three point two and three point three and the three point five. So you will see how to start in Photoshop. So first of all, click to start the button. Click to start button. By this point, first of all, you have to click to start button and then. Click on Add On Master Collection. Add On Master Collection CSS folder. Add stuff there. Click on order. Click on add a photo of CSS. Click on add a. Click on add a. There is a three step. After it, you you can show your photo, and then to start with work in the Photoshop. Click on new lines. A new dialog box open. And I will select 3.4 and specify the width and height of the for your their respective boxes. Type the new name of the file name. Type the new name. File name. And color. Color mode. Choose color mode from the drop box. Bitmap, gray size, gray scale, RGB color, CMYK color, or lab color. Bitmap mode. The image get convert into a two color. So, my dear student, first of all, bitmap mode. Bitmap mode, gray side. Gray side. Bitmap mode, gray side. Bitmap mode, gray side. 
color from the input group. So color is a color input. But I am thinking you bit So my dear student, bit of both this means a convert into a two color image. Grace scale for the image is displayed in shade of gray, black, black and white. And C and by the board, the image is printed in a four main color C for sign, C for sign, M for magenta, Y for yellow, and K for black. Again repeat it C for sign, M for magenta, Y for yellow, and K for black. After giving all the display detail to the new is click on the OK button a new file option opens up in the window of Photoshop window. You, so you can show the figure 3.5 Photoshop window. Window. Tools pattern. Menu bar, option bar, option bar, default mode. Default mode, palettes, so the code I am clicking picture, you can show the figure 3.5 Photoshop before learning how to work. In Photoshop, let us first know about first know about the main component of its interview. So, after it, we will discuss the component of Photoshop. Components of Photoshop window. The menu bar contains different menu type, file, edit, means layer, stack. Windows, etc., to perform various tasks in Photoshop. So, between, I want to say to all students, one thing: all features really wish to all of the students. And next, the option is the option.
it displays the option associated with the tool being selected. Next, the default. The essential is the default view of the Photoshop interface. You can also change the mode of the Photoshop interface by clicking and in one more element on this box. Next, the top view. The large white area in the Photoshop is called document area. In this area, you can perform various operations on the object, the main area, document area. And next, the tool panel. Tool panel. The tool panel is present by default on the left side of the Photoshop window. Left side. Left side, left side of the Photoshop window. There are the following five kinds of tools in the Photoshop tools. First is selecting selection tool, painting and retouching tool, text and drawing tool, view tools, and other tools. So first is selection tool. Consists of the very selection tools like magic band, mark tool, move, lasso, and the crop tools. Paint and retouching tools. That's the paint and retouching tool. It consists of healing brush, brush, eraser, tool. Fill, blur, stamp, dirt, work, gradient, and the response tools. It's a paint and retouching. Retouching means if you want to the again editing the pictures, that time you have to use such type of tool. Retouch. First touch, the second touch. Second touch means a retouch. That means you want to the new picture. New picture, edit picture. Next, the text and drawing tools. It consists of text tools, shape pack tools. Pen tools, they are used for drawing and the typing text. Suppose that is the first picture, and after that, you want to the tap on the picture, the tap is to use the text and type tools. Next, the view tools. And the view tools are the main view tools, they are used to view the objects. This tool is for view. Zoom 100%, 70%, 100%, 110%. 100 this is the option of the zoom tool. Zoom size. Zoom in and zoom out. So this option goes to the view. And other tools, there are the many other tools that help on the window. There are the many tools that help us in various ways while working with images, for example, foreground tools, color, background color, switch and default tools. Next to the palettes. Palettes are the floating windows that are placed one after the other with different options that you use for editing the image. These are present on the right side of the Photoshop window. To move the palettes from the given step, click on the top of the palette, hold the left mouse button, press, drag the left flat to close or expand the left flat, click on the double button. And next, we will see to you I will tell you how to insert the objects. To insert an image in the Photoshop following the given step, first is click on file. First Place option from the drop down menu to place dialog box of open. Next, click on drop down arrow of clock. Next, the click on the drop down clock. Click on drop down arrow. 
to log in that drop down arrow of log in that box. Log in that box. Next, select the image as per your purpose. Click on the play button, the select image appears. Select image appear in the Photoshop. Yes. Click and drag the place where you want to see. Okay. So start. And next to the how to shape a file. So I just click on the name repeat. Click on the file, click on the drop down menu, click on the drop down menu, click on the drop down menu. Ah, first step. I just click on the steps used for insert menu. And if you want to Drop the video, drop, uh, sorry, drop image. First of all, you have to take a camera, your mobile, and open the camera and click take a picture and go to the drop menu and then drop the picture. So, this is the step of you how to drop an image with the help of your mobile. And this is the of image used in the Photoshop. So, there is no too long, it's a very easy, just like a play strategy. And next is the Saving a file. So today I will say only and save. After creating a editing the image, you must have the file to save the Photoshop. Follow the given step. Click on the file. Click. On the file. Click on the file. Save it. The save the dialog box is open. Save the dialog box is open. Second, tap the name of the file. Box and click on the save. Click. And must think the last. 
dot php the document file. I said the extension name of the Photoshop is dot php. Dot PST. You will save your file in the dot PST. Uh, so dialog box 3.10 save as dialog box. Okay, right here and open and so many types of things we will start for you. Bye bye.